What's up everybody? Welcome back to How It's Done. Today we're going to show you how to fix a diverter on your tub spout that leaks water by. So many people are going to have a setup similar to this where you've got the tub with the little piece that you pull which will divert water up to your shower head. And over time, either due to calcification buildup on the inside here or due to the washer failing, when you divert the water, you still have some leaking through. Now this is not too bad. Sometimes you have quite a bit they can buy. Some people will decide to repair it if it's time to update stuff. Some people will just decide to replace it. Most people just ignore it because they don't want to mess with it. But I'm going to show you just how easy it is to repair that. They actually make repair kits with all the parts you'll need. It's like five bucks at Home Depot. Basically comes with this. Obviously, we'll be using the existing plunger on this so that it matches. But yeah, not hard to fix. We're going to get into it today on how it's done. Do me a favor, give this video a thumbs up, and let's get after it. All right, so there's two different types of ways these are connected. One type is a slip connection. You're going to have a set screw underneath here that you can either use a Phillips or an Allen or something like that to loosen up. And the other type is going to be threaded, meaning that it's just twisted in place and on there. So, knowing that, see what I mean by it's a slip connection, there's no thread, it's just a solid pipe that comes through. And then down here in the front, what you've got is this piece that's connected to the plunger. Now you could fight it and try and pull these pieces apart to get it off, but like you notice with the repair kit, comes with a whole new assembly. They're pretty much universal unless you get some really expensive custom deals, um, in which case you're probably not going to be trying to fix this yourself anyway. So we're just going to go ahead and take a pair of pliers, break one of these prongs off so that this will come loose, and I'll show you how to put it back together. All right, so we got this old piece off, and before we put this new one on, because there is a little bit of calcification built up in here, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and use uh, just a dishwashing sponge with a slightly abrasive side to it and then some CLR to get the calcification removed from this. It doesn't seem too, too bad. It's fairly light, but you want to make sure not to use a screwdriver or anything that's going to score the surface because this surface inside here, this flat edge, needs to be flat for the gasket to do its job. If you have little um, dips in there, it's going to let water seep by and you're going to end up having to replace this entire spout. So we'll do that and put it back together. Alright, so once you've got that cleaned up, you're going to want to put your repair kit together. And you're going to have a washer that has a hollow side, I'm sorry, a gasket that has the hollow side, and then the flat side. So the flat side with this little bit of a ridge on here is going to go facing out like that. And then all you're going to do with this side down is slide that in place. Let's see if I can do this with one hand. And then you'll take your plunger, put that on top, and then you just press until they click. And that's it. And now you've got it working again. Then you just put it back on the uh, conduit or the uh, copper tubing and tighten it up and give it a test. All right, so it's back on there. Let's go ahead and turn it back on. Pull it up all the way. And it still has a slight grip, so. Basically, what's happening here is because of all the calcium buildup on it, um, it's still not quite getting a good seal. It is a very slow drip, but it is tricky. So, in this case, you would want to replace this entire piece if it's a nuisance to you. If not, you know, you're good. 